This whole toxic masculinity farce that people try to toss out. The term toxic masculinity came from two Caucasian men. There we go again. The system of white supremacy trying to control the narrative of what masculinity is when they didn't know from the very beginning them damn selves. That's a fact. Shepard Bliss and Robert J. Stoller, one of them happens to be a homosexual. So let's connect these dots here. <clears throat> so a homosexual Caucasian man is going to tell heterosexual nations of original men what masculinity is. Get the French toast out of here. Not possible. Number two, if that term came out and then it became overshadowing of what masculinity is, it blurs the lines of what true masculinity is and what it is not. So you don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. Now what people perceive as masculinity is putting their hands on a woman. That's masculine. No, that's not what masculinity is. Masculinity would prevent a man from putting his hands on his woman. Mm. Masculinity protects the community. Masculinity raises and respects children. Masculinity secures women. Masculinity makes it to where you're not going to step over here and not get checked if you don't operate properly. That's what masculinity is. Yep, that's right. I'm running things. I'm running things. Cream corn. That's why they call me that. Smooth. Toxicity is the opposite of masculinity. You can't even put those together because the other thing is you knew it was an agenda because you never hear people talk about toxic femininity. <laughs> Sensational. Goodbye. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button on the way out. I'll see you on the next one.